Welcome. Here we are in January 2022, the dawn of a new year. COVID has no doubt impacted the lives of thousands of people tuning in today. And in this challenging moment in which we find ourselves, we're also reminded of America's strength, its innovation, and its resilience shining through. It's a resilience that extends to industries like ours and skilled workforces like ours that make and move the energy that powers and protects modern life. I'm Megan Bloomgren, Senior Vice President at the American Petroleum Institute, and I want to welcome each and every one of you to the 13th Annual State of American Energy. I'm proud to represent a strong industry whose workforce is counted in the millions, but whose focus is local. Day in and day out, America's energy workforce is ever evolving. It's dynamic and it's committed to safely providing reliable energy, reducing our emissions and strengthening the communities where we live and work. It's our dedicated workforce that is helping to make the nation's recovery and a brighter future possible. Consider these facts on resilience. Before the pandemic hit nearly two years ago, the U.S. was the world's leading producer of oil and natural gas. The U.S. had just become a net exporter of crude and petroleum products for the first time in 70 years. Hydraulic fracturing and horizontal drilling, pioneered in America, had allowed entrepreneurs to access U.S. natural gas and oil from shale that was the envy of the world. Then in the early months of COVID, Global demand for oil went from 100 million barrels per day down to 80 million as the market adjusted to extreme conditions. 80 million barrels is a significant amount used every day worldwide, especially in the midst of shutdowns, grounded flights, quarantining, and remote learning and working. All the while, our companies and employees responded, retrofitting facilities, increasing production of health and hygiene products, and donating critical medical supplies to combat the pandemic all across America. Here at home, oil producers who had delivered a record of nearly 13 million barrels per day pre-pandemic in places like North Dakota, New Mexico, Texas, and other basins, as well as off America's shores, they dropped to producing fewer than 10 million barrels at the height of the pandemic. Fast forward to today. Global energy demand is recovering faster than global and American supply, due in part to federal policies. But U.S. crude production stood tall at 11.7 million barrels per day produced last month and is climbing. In fact, output in the Permian Basin in Texas and New Mexico just hit a record 5 million barrels produced each day last month. Our industry continues to be integral to meeting worldwide demand because progress is made in America. Of course, this resilience was on display before the pandemic too. Over the last decade, more American natural gas replaced coal for electricity generation. An increased natural gas use has led to cleaner air and fewer carbon dioxide emissions. In fact, since 2000, the U.S. has led the world in reducing emissions. Meanwhile, on methane, average methane emissions intensity fell 60% over the last decade in the largest U.S. producing regions. Much of the world's work to address climate risk and to tackle climate change is underway and accelerating here at home. Progress is made in America. Similarly, U.S. energy is helping to alleviate global energy poverty, which is a critical goal of the Paris Climate Agreement. In 2000, just 79% of the Earth's population had access to electricity, and that grew to 90% in 2019. Continued progress in increasing energy access will come from access to U.S. natural gas. We're on the right track. Just last month, the U.S. overtook Australia and Qatar as the world's largest exporter of liquefied natural gas for the first time ever. Providing energy for light and heat for hospitals and modern conveniences, creating jobs and promoting economic growth, it's not a stretch to say the energy our industry manufactures every day is doing more to help the human condition than ever before. Progress is made in America. But as we know from the last two years, progress should never be taken for granted. 
And that's why today's 2022 State of American Energy will illustrate exactly what's at stake for family budgets in the U.S. economy, for our national security and climate progress globally. API President and CEO Mike Summers will hit on all this with analysis, industry actions and initiatives, and policy priorities in his remarks and a question and answer session later this hour. Before that, you'll hear from API Executive Vice President Amanda Eversoll. She'll shine a light where progress is rightly attributed. But this isn't just about us. We're listening. We want to hear from you. Stay tuned for how you can engage throughout our dynamic program today and in the weeks to come. We look forward to your questions and to hearing from you. Thanks for joining us for the 2022 State of American Energy.